Hey everybody, Danny Ward here, and I have a question for you. Have you had a plenty of chipping lessons and none of them seem to be getting you results fast enough? Well, in this very short video, I'm gonna show you one little tip that you can do with your chipping that I found um, gives me, with some of my clients, some really instant results that are long lasting, okay? It's, uh, I just found it absolutely brilliant. But it's a little bit unusual. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you what I've been up to. So, one of the problems when people chip is obviously, we've probably heard of this, they can't stop taking, they can't um, st prevent their hands from flicking all the time through impact. So they hit these thin shots and fat shots and it's, it's very complicated. One of the reasons behind this is we basically take the club around the body, back here, and then around again. And that's, that's actually a really good chipping action, is where we simply follow the body on a gentle arc. The problem is, is when somebody's been struggling with their chipping, that's not easy to do, because it requires quite a lot of control to do that, and, and uh, discipline. So, there is one thing you can do that makes it super simple, and a lot of um, uh, uh, people over the years have done something very similar in putting. Heard of the broom handle? Not really, uh, you can't anchor that anymore. Well, one of the advantages about the broom handle is it's vertical, right? And it helps when somewhere put as vertical to consistently get the club going back on a straight line, okay? Now, as we don't need any rotational power in chipping because it's only a small shot, we can actually do something very similar in chipping to really improve the quality of your chip shots. And what we do is we simply hold the club up so it's very vertical and almost the toe now is just on the ground and the heel's off the ground. Okay, it looks a bit strange. Then we're going to simply put the club in our palm and you'll notice it's very much up the lifeline of the left hand if you're a left-handed golfer or a right-handed golfer, the, the lifeline of the right hand. And then we grip it, okay? Now from here, you'll, you'll notice that we stood very, very close to the golf ball. And all we're going to do is get the club going straight back and straight through. And it's a gentle rock of the shoulders. You can put a little bit of weight on your left side to encourage a more downward strike, but all you're doing is keeping everything very, very quiet and you're simply swinging backwards and forwards with a toe, only the toe, striking the golf ball, okay? Now, one of the beauties about this is there's a lot less to go wrong. The club basically follows a much straighter path on the way back and a, and a much straighter path on the way through. And the great benefit about this is there's no need for the hands to have any rotation. Sometimes when we're swinging backwards and forward, you can see here, then that requires a lot of discipline. There are some downsides to this. When you want to swing longer, okay, and you want to hit longer golf shots, like it, maybe a pitch, you can't really use this technique. So it's not really scalable, okay, but it is brilliant around the edges of the green, and there's plenty of top players doing exactly this. So what I'm saying is, is this is a specialized technique for chips around the green. The other advantage with it is at the rough, it is brilliant. If you put the toe in here, look at this angle. You've only got a sharp angle here as opposed to the full width of the blade. So when your toe is in the ground, that is again going to cut through the rough a lot more, particularly if you even close the face a fraction. All right? So I'd really, that's all I'm going to, that's all it is. It's not a complicated uh, movement at all. It's very, very straightforward. Really give it a try. And if you have, if you get some success with it, please um, put it in your comments box below. And if, um, if you know anyone who's really struggling with their chipping who could do this advice, please share it. And, uh, and until next week, have a great golfing week. Hi, it's Danny. Did you like this video? If you did, there's two things you could do right now. Wanna to subscribe to my channel and receive this content on a weekly basis. The second thing you could do is you could head on over to my website right here and receive my weekly newsletter. In that newsletter, we have various different uh, advice in PDF format. You can access my podcast. In fact, many, many things that you cannot access on this channel. Head on over to it here. Until next week, have a great golfing week.